edition of Hope Healthy Living. I'm Hope. Welcome, co host. Hi, everybody. It's me, Pearl. And today we have a fantastic dish for you guys. We have shrimp and scallops. Yes, and you can see why I'm dancing because we are celebrating spring, right? Yeah. And what is special about the shrimp and scallops we're doing today? The shrimp and scallop that we are making today will be accompanied by three different sauces. Yes. So, guys, we are going to make the first sauce is pineapple with olive and, and basil. basil. Now, I usually get fresh herbs, but I wasn't able to find fresh basil at the store, so I got this one, which is fresh. It's just that it's packaged. So. And we're going to use this herb. I have um, chai, mm -hmm. thyme, oregano, and parsley. Yes. And so we're going to blend this to make our tapenade, right? Our second sauce is a refreshing pineapple and mango yes. kind of Tropical. garnish yes. put in the sauce. Yes. But yes. I love and it. And it will have some onions, bell pepper, and some tomatoes. Yes, and so this is some kind of a salsa, right? Yes. Tropical salsa, I can say. That's why I'm dancing. And our third sauce is a white wine mm -hmm. and lemon sauce. Yes. It is very dippable and it is the classic. Yes, and so guys, we really want to thank you if you're watching this for the first time. We are going to get cooking when we come back. Don't go away. Welcome back everybody. Now we will be making our tarpanade sauce. Yes, and we are going with pine nut, but to do the tarpanade, you can use almond, hazelnut, or walnut. It really doesn't matter. It's more about texture, right? Yes. You want it to have that thick paste, so here we go. This was about half a cup of pine nut. Uh, sometimes when I don't have pine nut, I can do it with almonds, okay? Yeah. And some people like it really coarse. Coarse means not smooth, right? Yeah. But other people like it smoother, so. And here is just a cup of um, olive, chopped olive with pimiento, and we also have jalapeno. And I just put half garlic because really I'm not, I don't like a very strong flavor so this is good for me okay. yes and because we just went with the paste I wasn't able to see the fresh one so we are going to leave this and put it at the end okay and here I really like to put a little bit, don't you think we should have a little bit more up this is good for you so there you go and a little bit of oregano. Ooh, so we're going to have parsley and oregano. Yes, and even some thyme. There you go. And this is really just my flavor. And remember, when it comes to cooking, you take a recipe and you build on it. Okay. You alter it to your taste, taste buds and your liking and your budget and your lifestyle. Great. That looks great. Yes. This is the texture that we really want. Yes. And so guys, when we come back, we're going to put it in a bowl and show you how it looks like. And of course, we're going to taste it, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. When we come back. Okay guys. So we are going to mix it with our basil, right? Yes, our basil paste. Ooh, that's a good so amount. we add some into our bowl. Yes. And here we have our basil paste. Yes. And then we need our olive oil. Can you step on the side and put some, bring some olive oil, please? Thank you, Coco. Here, this is just extra virgin olive oil. Yes. So we're going to put a little bit, yes. just about a teaspoon. You have to speak loud. Just yes. about a teaspoon should be good. As you can see, can I, can you bring it closer? Yep. As you can see, we have 
uh, uh, tamponade and not stepping on. Yes, so now mix it's in. time to mix it in with the oil. Yes, and here we're going to drizzle some Ooh, lemon. lemon. See that lemon nice juice? Nice. Good. Mmm, it's gonna give yes. it a fresh flavor, right? Great. Right? Yeah. Right. And here, our sauce is already complete. Yes. Very quick, easy, and let's see how it tastes. Great. And usually, you can keep this in the fridge for about a week. And you can use it for bread spray, and so this is delicious. Now you want to taste it. This side is to taste, and there you go. Mmm. Mmm. Great. And Very then, good. Yes. And this side you stay. Great. And so now we're going I to I really taste the olive in it and it's really good. Yes. I can taste the basil. Mmm. Let me taste the basil and see. Very good. So good. I really like this one. I think this might be my mm. favorite. I taste the basil. Mm. I this, think this is my favorite. This is perfect. Well, we can't judge yet because we still have the tropical and the white wine. Here. Yes, this is perfect. And you don't need to put any more salt because the olives mm -hmm. are already salted. So yes, it gives remember. a perfect natural Taste. Yes, so remember and that. Here we're putting this in a nice Just a second. bowl yes. for and our shrimp. Yes, and if you want, you can add some nice greenery garnishing. Yes, always think garnishing, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. And you can bring that forward to show our coconut. Oh, look at that beautiful sauce. And it is very tasty. Yes. And healthy. Yes. And when we come back, we are going to cook, right? On the stove. Yes. Don't go away. Okay, guys, now we are going to get cooking, right? Yes. We are going to cook the shrimp. And here I'm going to put just about a couple of teaspoons of olive oil. And Paul is going to be doing the shrimp while I'm doing the uh, scallop. scallop okay. And the mango sauce. Yes. And so it's important for us to cut the shrimp a little bit more. I've already done that. Guys, as you can see, still have a little bit of water. So you want to pat that shrimp and scallop very well. And now we are going to put our salt and pepper, right? Yep. On both. The scallop and the shrimp. There you go. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt, salt yes. to it. Good. You want to get all of it? Yes. In. Very good. Yes. Great. And now we're going to flip it so we can use on the other side. And there we go. Okay, so it's ready, guys. The scallop already comes with slits, which we want, so it has those nice grilled Great. Parts. So when we come back, we're putting it in the pan. Okay, now we are going to start cooking our shrimp, guys. So I'm going to be go. doing the shrimp while Hope does the scallop. Yes. Ooh, you can hear it sizzling, that right? That means that your oil and pan is heated up at a good temperature yes and this is great there you go very nice and we are going to do the shrimp honey glaze okay yes. okay so let me turn back the heat shrimp takes not that long to okay cook, about four minutes Yes. So you don't have to leave it for too long. Yes. And while you're doing that, I'm going to start with the scallop on the other side. Okay. Again, I'm just going to use a couple of teaspoons. I think that's enough too. So 
we don't want to put too much because we do have to put a little bit of butter there you go great maybe I need a little bit more pepper here there. and I'm going to make sure that my pot is heated which it is and so we're going to put our scallop one after the other looks like my shrimp is about ready to flip over yes oh great you have to hear this sizzling good and again when you're cooking this scallop remember they are very delicate so you want to spread them about an inch from each other yes oh look at you are good. doing great Carl. and now can it's i drizzle honey. yes drizzle with this is raw honey right this is yeah. raw honey guys and just a little bit it gives it that sweetness Perfect. and uh, caramel appeal to it, right? Yeah. And you flip it. Oh, it's looking good. This shrimp is very, very good. Very yes. Good. And I'm going to put a couple of teaspoons of chopped garlic, guys. It's a must in this recipe, right? Yeah, definitely. Great. And this is looking great. I think it's about time to turn off the heat because yes. we don't want it to burn and it's already cooked. Yes. So now we're putting a little bit of lemon slices. Yes, and it's gonna give that a little bit of, uh, give it a little bit of acidity, right? Yeah. And that past sprinkle. And now we're going to put just one stick of butter in the middle right there and our secret ingredient is our white wine now we will be adding our white wine yes and this is just the uh, cooking white wine okay yes. so and when you heat it up let's heat it for a few seconds you have that alcohol evaporate okay yes. and here i'm going to check my scallop it's looking great. Ooh, I don't know if the camera guy can come check the scallop on this side. I think this is great. So I want it brown, so we're going to keep cooking. Now it is time to flip our scallop. Yes, ooh, look at that. I love that caramel brown. This one is not ready. So, yeah. Now it's time for me to make the mango sauce. Yes, and we're going to put a couple, just a couple of teaspoons here for the mango tropical. Mm -hmm. Just two. That's enough, right? Yep. Great. And then you can put it back here. So. And we're going to reduce the heat. And for this, you're going to start with we have our bell pepper onion and tomato yes i love that seasoning you're doing great very good good and you're going to stir it for a few minutes i'm going to give you the spatula right here use this okay. one Thank you. you're welcome and you're going to stir it for a few minutes before we add um, yes. Pineapple. Yes. Because remember, we don't want it to be burned, right? Yes. Yeah, so. Because that will take all the flavor and sweetness from our fruit. Yes. Okay, guys. Our scallop. You see that it's ready. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put a little bit of garlic. Mmm. It looks like today garlic is really one of the style, right? Yes. Yes. And. and here, I already added. And this is a little bit of butter. As you can see, we don't put much, just uh, two. about two teaspoons. Yes. So that's what it is. And this is one pot of uh, cooking white wine and drizzle it. Mmm. Look at that. 
Great. Yes. And then we are going to leave it reduced to maybe half. And, and here we already had added our pineapple and mango yes. to our sauce. Mm -hmm. And now we're just cooking it at about medium to high. Yes. For a few minutes. Very good. Okay. Okay, now we'll come back when it's done cooking. Yes. Okay, guys, this is ready. I'm just going to put a little bit of thyme. I love the flavor of thyme in my uh, scallop, but some people will put chives, so great. As you can see, this is ready. We see that the juice is reduced to half. Okay, now we're going to do our white wine dipping sauce. Yes. So first we're going to add in some oil. Yes, just a little bit. This is our olive oil. Yes, we always try not to put too much oil, so this Here's is perfect. Here is about a, a teaspoon. Yes, and then you're going to go with the garlic. Our garlic. Yes. Mmm, you want to have stir. Have sizzle. Yes. And you want to, um, have it brown. Yes, because you want that flavor to come out. Now we can put our butter. So we just have two. In. And this is vegetable um, butter, so it's not the animal butter. This is vegetable butter, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... And now we're going to add our white wine. Yes. This is cooking white wine that we have here. Yes. And we're going to stir it. And so when we come back, we're going to be putting this on the plate, right? Yep. Okay. Stay tuned for when we serve it up. Yes. Case. I think I'm gonna take this plate. Yes. And guys, really, this is very simple appetizer, but great for Mother's Day gift, right? Yes. And we have, we have a salad on the side. Yes. And doing this, you want to go with a balance of flavor and texture, right? Mm -hmm. And so, do not hesitate to do this on Mother's Day or any day during the week. And please, if you like this video, what do you do? Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and click that notification bell down below so you know when we upload new videos every single time. And check out our new website, EnvisionHope.com, and check us out on Facebook, Envision Hope. Yes. And now it's time to taste and then we can start dancing and, you know, have an early Mother's Day, right? Yeah. Great. And it's going to be your birthday coming up April 29, guys. In one week. Yes. We're going to put the link below where you can send birthday wishes or anything you would like for my co-host. So do not hesitate. To, uh, let us know what you think about this, right? Yep. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. The topping is. Mmm. Very good. Guys, my mouth is full. If you can see, our topping is and delicious. Very good. Mmm. 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 And as you can see, now I'm going to taste some of the shrimp. Mm-hmm. And 
I'm going to go with the scallop, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Juicy, tender. I mean, I don't need any extra sauce, but if you want, you can still have mm -hmm. extra sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Great. And thank you, guys. My mouth is full. Can you say bye? Bye. Mmm.